This is the Music Education Minute, episode 7 for July 22nd, 2015, recording with Audio Score 8. Hey everybody, this is Chad Criswell, here today to give you a little look at Neurotron Audio Score 8. It's a very interesting program that takes the sounds that you create on your instrument or on a MIDI device and automatically transposes them in transcribes them pardon me transcribes them into music notation all right so let's take a look this is the uh, audio score interface here when you first start it up not much going on here until we tell it to record a new track all right uh, first thing I'm going to do, I've already got this kind of set up the way I want it. I'm going to pick a medium tempo. If I want to, it can calculate it from the performance, but I find this to be a little bit more accurate. So moderato, medium tempo. I can set a custom if I want to over there. Uh, standard 4-4 time. I'm going to be playing something really simple today just to show you what's going on. Hit record. And I wasn't ready. gosh am I that bad really okay this is gonna be horrible on here alright but at least you'll be able to see what's going on as you can see little red dashes that uh, represent the notes that I just played now I'm going to select and delete and all that garbage that I did up before there Okay. Yeah, let me just delete the junk off oh. the end as well, just for the heck of it. Now, if you look at it, it's already kind of uh, got the the beats going here. One, two, three, four. You can see the bar lines. For some reason, it can't figure this part out, which the way I played it, understandable. All right, I didn't do very good on that. Now, once you've got the music in there, if you hit transcribe it's supposed to transpose it into music notation now as you can see I didn't do so well alright plus I'm not the greatest yet at figuring out how to uh, make this work right so I'm sure that if I took the time and I had the time to really dig into it and figure out how to adjust things so that it listened to me perfect it would probably do a good job because as you can see it even figured out I was playing a clarinet I didn't tell it that I was playing a clarinet but it figured it out and it did get the right notes in here, C, D, E, C, but because I wasn't playing right with the beat, it didn't transpose it or transcribe it exactly correct. Now, that's with an acoustic instrument like a clarinet or a, you can see over here in the right corner here, they've got a bunch of other ones that just kind of come as, as automatic selections here. So it'll even do the transposition because obviously I was not playing a C in concert terms it would have been a B flat but it realized it and it transposed it into clarinet notation here for me now that's one way of doing things is with a live instrument um, and it says that it can do polyphonic music more than one instrument at once so we're gonna try that here we're gonna not save it and this time though got my MIDI keyboard hooked up my little M audio 49E key station and I'm gonna go in here preferences and I'm gonna switch it so that it's now listening to my MIDI device alright so instead of the microphone and stuff we're gonna pick the MIDI and now I'm gonna do the same thing alright let me get my keyboard ready and same speed Okay. Now, did a much better job on this this time than it did before. It's doing the same thing. Every time I've done it, though, with the MIDI keyboard, it always does the same thing. It doesn't notice the first note. Now, it looks like I must be playing just barely ahead of the beat on everything, and maybe that's why. Maybe because I started playing that first C just barely ahead of the beat, maybe that's why I didn't see it, and that's why it doesn't record it. But as you can see, it is so much more accurate here when we're using a MIDI device than it is with the audio, with the with an instrument. 
Now, if I'm not a clarinet player, I'm a brass player, so yeah, I wasn't playing the greatest as it was on that other one, but you see the difference here, okay? If you've got a keyboard and you just you know what you want to sound like and you just want to get it in really easy into music notation, this is the way you do it. Now you can also change things around here. I take that back, it won't let you do it when you're doing it in MIDI mode, but on uh, the acoustic instruments, it actually gives you a little slider over here in the corner lets you adjust the quantization settings so that you can make it a little bit more sensitive, a little bit less sensitive as far as how many beats and how many notes you're actually playing. Um, I didn't play it back for you earlier, but when it does that, it, it totally um, notices every little fluctuation of the tone of the pitch. Um, how I tend to scoop a little bit on certain notes, it caught it right away when I was testing this out before. So this is this is Neurotron Audio Score Ultimate 8, all right? Um, it's an awesome program if you're wanting to get notes easily into a computer. Now you export out from this in a bunch of different ways. Let me show you really quick here. Um, I'm going to save it as, and I can save it as an audio score file, or as a MIDI file, or as a music XML file or even as a photo score file. Don't know why I'd want to do it as a photo score file, but I could, okay? Now that music XML file thing is important because once you get the majority of your music in there, you can just export it out to XML and then take it into Sibelius or into Finale or into MuseScore or whatever you're using. So it's a, it's a really handy little deal. Uh, if I have a chance here, I'm gonna do one more thing for you. If I can find it. I'm going to try to find right there. All right, we're going to import a MIDI, or I'm sorry, an MP3. Now this happens to be a, uh, a, a violin ensemble piece. Okay, now take a quick listen. I'm not gonna do very much of it. This is a Yo-Yo Yo -Yo Ma piece there, as you can see. And here it goes. You can't hear it, neither can I. It's doing it all in the background. It's recording it in. And once I hit escape here, I'm going to let it go for a couple more bars. Once I hit escape, it's going to take a second. And now it is analyzing it. It records it first, it analyzes it later. And as you can see, boy, they apparently play a whole lot better than I do because it seems to have got a lot better on it. Now I can play back the original recording. Okay, or I can play back the current track the way AudioScore sees it. Okay, now as you can tell, it's got a lot to do there. Now I'm going to like. I don't know, I've never tried this. Let me see if I select all and put it all on violin. Let's see what it'll do if I play it back. Okay. Now if I hit transcribe, it's going to look pretty weird. <laughs> Alright? Um, yeah. I know that that is not what the actual music looks like, but hey. It's it's a start okay I have not had a whole lot of time to really dig into this to see how I can fine-tune things to be able to get a better result on everything that I'm doing but I do know just from hearing from what other people can do with it and and seeing some of their demos and stuff that it is a pretty powerful piece especially if you're doing solo playing especially on a keyboard instrument that's hooked up by MIDI it's a really good thing to have now let me uh, take you back here just for a second. Let me tell you that Neurotron has got some awesome software out there. AudioScore is one of them that hasn't got quite as much play as like Photoscore. Those of you that have looked at my uh, review a couple weeks ago of Notate Me for the iPad, um, that uses the Photoscore, uh, the Photoscore technology, and that is awesome. Literally, it, it, it's awesome for, for getting music from a printed page into your computer. Um, audio score, it's obviously going to be more difficult. It's obviously going to take a lot more work in order to get it uh, to the point 
where it, it's it's perfect and it, it figures out what you meant instead of what you played because it's a computer it's going to be very literal so anyway that's my little hands-on exposure to Neurotron Audio Score Ultimate 8 hope you enjoyed it hope it helped out a little bit um, be sure to check back here later because I'm going to be doing a review of the Photoscore Ultimate product which I'm really looking forward to knowing how good they do with it in Notate Me I can't wait to see how they do it in an actual standalone desktop application. So check back here later. Again, guys, this is, whoops, there we go. Visit musicedmagic.com. Sign up for our music education technology newsletter. It's in the right column on the home page there. You'll see a, a window there with all of the current videos and everything that I've done. And check back every week or so. My plan is to do this every week, and hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you find them of use. Take care. Thank you. Bye.